Hello and welcome to the Creaky Cutest on a Monk and today we are in Empire of Sin and we are back with yet another exploit tips video. Now it's certainly been a while since I have posted an exploit or a tips video for Empire of Sin, however within my latest let's play i have discovered a couple of things that i've never really documented in its very own video before and of course if you haven't been following my let's play then you wouldn't have known these things exist so i figured it'd be a good idea just to put together a video so that way you guys can see what i'm talking about hopefully take advantage of it i know that a few people are still playing this game um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it and of course if you do learn anything else or anything new then hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already and let me know your thoughts down in the comments now as you can see i have entered ambush mode now ambush mode is something you can use um, outside of all the rackets in a game and essentially it pauses the game now something i never really noticed or understood stood before is that you can move your characters place them wherever you want and almost do anything you want before combat begins it doesn't kind of resume the game in any way and as you can see i can fully take advantage of that fact placing my characters all the way around um, the intended targets before combat actually begins now i love the fact that this is here this is something that i honestly never noticed existed before i knew obviously that you could you know prepare your ambush and of course if you do set your ambush right then effectively you get a good free hit in combat however doing it this way doing what i like to call curb crawling does mean you can place your troops anywhere they need to be before combat exists now something else which is rather interesting is that you can use your perks before combat so in other words i can use bullet shield now bullet shield is an incredibly powerful perk that you can use and essentially it means that your troops um, receive less damage for the next three turns so knowing that you can do this means that you can actually take massive advantage in, in a few different perks um, before combat actually begins. Now, this also means that you can use healing items as well. So, um, for instance, I have used some painkillers that will also be able to have its effects sorted. And of course, if you need to heal anyone before combat begins as well, those things will also um, work before combat begins however if you use any kind of attacking move like for instance you just saw that i used the uh, the crow's feet that will actually trigger combat now i wouldn't necessarily recommend using something like crow's feet before combat um it has its uses but this certainly isn't it it's much more effective to actually get the free hit in combat if you attack while in ambush mode you essentially get an extra um, attack because that attack isn't actually counted as your first attack and then you can attack um so yeah i kind of wanted to talk about curb crawling i thought that was really important i also really wanted to talk about the fact that you could use non-attacking moves um before your combat begins without triggering any of the enemy as well those are two really important facts that i never really fully utilized in any of my other playthroughs so if you're new of this before me let me know down in the comments because it's something that i'd never honestly looked at another thing i want to show you guys is something you can do before jumping in rackets now as you all know you cannot use ambush mode within a racket so when you raid a depot um well you can't do this and you can't necessarily take advantage of curb crawling but there is something else you can do so let's just take out this last guy there we go very cool something i would also like to say actually 
in regards to the ambush mode is that there are also like for instance maxim zanik he has a very good ability um which is called bolstering the ranks and what that does is it brings in extra gangsters now you can actually use a bolster the ranks without it triggering um without it triggering combat and without that actually triggering you guys to fully go to um war so remember that so you can use bolster the ranks you can also use bullet shield and there's a few other perks you can use as well so it's not just for bullet shield for instance although in my opinion that is one of the single greatest perks in the game now the last thing i wanted to um, mention is the fact that you can actually pre-load bullet shield now as you can see i am in front of a depot right now um, none of my characters have bullet shield on i believe now we are going to use a bullet shield there we go use bullet shield that does consume to ap there we go, we have used Bullet Shield. Every single one of our gangsters currently has access to that perk. Now we're going to jump straight into the depot. And as you can see, what's happened is that even though we use that on the outside of the racket, loading in every single one of our gangsters, including the boss that did get it outside the racket, still currently have access um, to that Bullet Shield. And if we highlight it, we can see that we actually get the full benefit of it. Not only do we have bullet shield, but we still have bullet shield for the first three turns in combat. So it can be really effective to use these kind of perks before going in. It means you can actually prepare for the upcoming battle a little bit better some people still struggle with safe houses some people still struggle with the depots especially depots i think depots in many ways can be harder than safe houses and so this will enable you guys just to go in a little bit more prepared bullet shield if you ask me is amazingly overpowered i would absolutely recommend picking up an enforcer and using it but like i said guys um they are the two three little tips exploit combat exploits that i wanted to show you hopefully you learned something new if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel and all of that fancy jazz i fully understand that empire sin now is in its latter stages it may never get reworked redeveloped or we may never see that second dlc but it doesn't mean we can't still show it a little bit of love i personally still play this game hopefully you do too um but yeah if you've enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one real soon until next time i've been a monk we've been the and i will see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy and happy gaming